working diligently on what's important to you. You're seeing also when you feel this way, you tend to, or when you're doing this, you tend to receive even more. And right now it's about you're receiving intuitive guidance. You may have been led into an area of your life where it is something unknown because you know, it's not unknown, let me rephrase that. It's only unknown because you've maybe been avoiding it. But all of this love and all of this dedication you have with yourself, all of this guidance is making you realize that you don't need to fear it anymore. You are not averse to spiritual guidance. You're someone who knows it rather well, most of you anyway. You don't have to call it that either. However, this one might feel a little different. Um, the eclipses in your sign in Scorpio, um, but your eclipse, the lunar eclipse, will come right before, you know, about a week and a half before we enter Sag season. So, it's, it's proposing to give you a ton of energy. It's just important to realize what and where you want to put it. Are you connecting to a fulfillment that actually is real and available to you and I'm not saying that there isn't anything available to you it's just that's could be your thought process you find that something that maybe you've been a certain way of being ideal that is ultimately comes from an emotion perhaps a protection has uh, you've been long committed to something that doesn't work and now that's changing for the better. And you could even find yourself having more energy than normal, wanting to give it out. And of course, you, you know, do as you will. However, it's really important that you not do it just because you feel like you haven't been giving enough. You know, where is that coming from? You also might do it out of having so much energy, you'd rather place it somewhere a lot more Sorry, hold on. A lot more Yeah, you might want to put it somewhere a lot more focused. There can be people who want to trip you up this month, possibly those who want to uh, find you in a place where they can confront you, you know, maybe there is a little bit of abrasiveness going on with things around you, but that would happen when there's more peace within you, right? So <laughs> sometimes those things are just because what has shifted on the inside is now asking to be revealed, asking to be experienced and used. And how you do things can sometimes feel like this, but you really are much more stoic. Not engaging with this burst of energy and this wild shit going on as much as you'd like to because there's a part of you that does like to not 
like likes to be a part of the stir or likes to at least watch it but there seems like there's other things on your mind other people on your mind other things on your mind other more fruitful things on your mind or in your life if you're with a Leo, things are going very well. And then all of a sudden it can be like, oh my God, things were just feeling so great. And now what the fuck is this? It's could just be pulling you into something that's changing it. Cause now that maybe you've had this moment of celebration realization and you have this up, up, up moment, then you have, then it's ultimately there's like a crash of vulnerability some like that can happen and that makes you wonder what you really want and that's maybe what brings you to that crash as well like what is available to you what can you see now that you weren't once able to we have capricorn going that went just went direct in pluto so there can be also this that's this right here so this can also be this um very strong pull in how you were maybe raised or brought up and who you are brought up by and then that very masculine or father figure in your life or just a very dominant figure in your life can show up right so once pisces um moves into retrograde on the 28th which is the day after i'm doing this so tomorrow then we have this like full spin effect, right? There's so much changing and shifting and you even are almost welcoming it with open arms because you've realized and if you haven't, then you'll be brought through it again. But the past few years, it's like when it's your choice or you ultimately, you can decide how you are dragged. So if you just roll with certain things, then it doesn't feel like you're dragged. It just feels like, oh, this is another change. This is another change of how whatever I adapted to, whatever habits that I have and have created um, within my heart are also somewhere in my mind. That these things don't, aren't brought to the surface until this specific layer is uncovered and this specific layer is uncovered all these layers are uncovered slowly and slowly unless you do something you know more drastic um you know like take a trip and people there's a lot of talk about ayahuasca and the toad and all of that stuff now it's a huge thing however it's like how are you integrating into your life and are you ready to you know and maybe you will for a really long time um and this is a change like that this is that kind of moment in your life where you're like, holy shit, this person, it's a possibility of Leo, has been trying to show you or reveal to you in a certain way all of these things, or it's the relationship or the strength that you've gathered within yourself. This deep eternal strength that no one can shake, you're so connected to it now that these things you you almost are oh welcoming this and if you do that it gets a lot even more easy because then jupiter and retro jupiter in retrograde in pisces does not affect you in a way in which one would think this could feel unlucky or look a certain way to some but really it's the perfect time because there's something that you've been wondering there's something that's been missing um, there's something in you that you've been wanting to even reveal. However, there's just something that's been holding you back and you get the piece of information this month that you've been waiting for. Um, and how nice it is, is it to hear that? <laughs> and you get it through your own, you know, sourcing it on your own. Or it's this Virgo who knows you very well. It's that kind of spiritual power, magic, earth unearthing it all and you have this ability to be able to dig that up you know bury it or burn it but there's this whole visual of the ground and turning it over turning that soil over and it's becoming so much more fertile every time 
So every idea that comes from this place, every that comes from the place that made you more vulnerable to what is real, yet protected by this deep sense of faith that you have, um, you find it growing even stronger in this month and uh, Sagittarius season will have some fun things for you. <laughs> All right, Taurus, we'll see you next month.